Hey folks, here's a super quick demo of Steamship's ticket tagger package. If your team wants to classify user content with no model training, but then collect data for certain user accounts and train a better model on a case-by-case -case basis, then this is for you. It lets you deploy a classifier in minutes across all of your customers, but then fine tune it just for the customers that need it. There's no infrastructure or data to manage. That all comes bundled in. And here's how you do it. All you have to do is type npx try steamship ticket tagger. And that will walk you through an auth flow on the web. So I'll press enter to open up my web browser. I'll sign into Steamship and I can close my web browser now. And it'll ask me which demo of the ticket tagger I want. So I have the option of a streamlet based web demo, or in this case, I'm going to pick the Jupyter Notebook Python demo. So now this will require you to have Jupyter Notebook installed on your machine, of course. Uh, but you can just copy and paste this command and that will open up a Jupyter Notebook that we've just downloaded onto your machine that illustrates the full life cycle of this ticket tagger package. So I'll show you a couple of the high bits about how it works. So Steamship, you can think about it as a virtual package manager. So we're gonna import the Steamship class here. And having done that, we're going to then use it to import the actual package we want. So the two things we need for that are number one, a package handle. So that's ticket tagger. You can think of this as like the pip package name or the NPM package name. The second thing we need is an instance handle. So I'm gonna call this user 8888. And that instance handle isolates all of the data for this particular instance of the package in the cloud. So that's everything from relations, it's parameter settings, it's vectors, it's trained classifiers. And if you're a software developer, it makes a lot of sense to give each one of your user contexts its own instance. So we've come up with an architecture that makes it very cheap in terms of resource consumption to switch back and forth between instances, but then each instance can dive into customizations on top of the base models that they need to use. And so this way you can use that abstraction very fluidly from your own product code. Okay, so let's take a look at what we can do with this instance. In order to invoke a method on an instance, we call instance.post and then we give it the method name. This relates to the fact that we're actually running a stub in Python that's contacting remote code that's managing the infrastructure. So let's call specialized status. It's an unspecialized classifier at that point. For this particular package, that means we're using a large language model based zero shot classifier. Uh, you can think of this as using kind of the sum total of a big heap of linguistic knowledge to do a best effort classification in the absence of training data that you'll then see how to add. Let's uh, clear the examples. And I'm just going to use lion, tiger, and bear style examples here since that's what this notebook has. But you could replace these, of course, with intents for SMS chats, with customer ticket labels, you know, routing to customer problems and things like this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set the labels that this classifier will route between. Uh, we have liger, ti lion, tiger, and elephant. So we've set that. That's now frozen inside of this instance. Uh, we can post the tag ticket uh, method, and it will return to us scores. You can think of these as affinity scores. It's not quite a probability distribution. It's more what the affinity of I like big cats is across this set of options, lion, lion, tiger, or elephant. And we see that in this particular case, tiger and lion come out on top, elephant has the lowest affinity score. And so too, this is how we would think about how to route uh, customer intents in, in a chat or uh, support tickets coming in. Now, this works great if you want to get all of your customers up and running instantly with no training for a classifier. But some of your customers are going to have labels that are specific to them in a way that a zero shot linguistic based classifier won't really be able to use. And so an example of this would be a support ticket that uh, ought to have the label, this is best for our founder to handle, or this is a custom sale. These kinds of things you can't quite derive from general purpose linguistic knowledge. And so you might need to train your own classifier. And the way you would do that with this package is to simply add examples. So here we just have a list of examples. Each one is a tuple. The first item of the tuple is the text of the example. The second item of the tuple are some labels on that text. And you can just add these as you collect data. So we're sending these up to the cloud on top of Steamship. It's specific to the instance context of this package. And at a certain point, let's add some more. 
we're going to count the examples. We can get the distribution of how many training points we have for each one of our classes. Uh, we can see that we are still unspecialized. And at, down here, we'll see how we can start the specialization process. Now, I'm not going to run this uh, because this actually takes a few hours. We're using an AutoML pipeline for this particular package uh, in Google Cloud, and it takes about five hours to go end to end. Uh, but what's nice about this is once it starts, it runs in the background. You continue being able to use the zero shot classification while it's training. And then when it's finished training, it automatically switches over to your specialized classifier. And at this point, you can benchmark that specialized classifier. You can roll backwards to the zero shot. You can retrain it and go from there. So the use case for this particular Ticket Tiger package is one that's actually pretty common we've seen in a lot of product companies where what you really want to think of classifiers as doing is potentially sharding across all of your customers and then sharding across a life cycle of specialization. And that kind of N by M matrix of complexity can get pretty complicated to manage. And so this package helps you manage that just from the standpoint of saying instance equals steamship.use, ticket tagger, user context, and then you can walk each user through their own life cycle of specialization, not specialization, finely tuned labels, general purpose labels, without adopting a lot of additional developer tooling or infrastructure tooling on your own part in your own team. So that's the ticket tagger package in Python. Uh, you can actually use this from any programming environment as an HTTP API if you wish as well. Uh, they're all very easy to try. Just type npx try steamship ticket tagger and that works for any of our other packages as well. Uh, and please reach out to us if you have any questions at steamship.com. Thanks.